Hey everybody, today we're going to show you how to complete the quest, the Guardian Gigantus, as well as the achievement Gigantus, I hardly knew ye here in Dragon's Dogma 2, so let's jump into it. So this quest actually starts automatically after completing the main quest, A New God Sway, and that quest is going to end inside of the Forbidden Magic Research Lab, where you're going to be given the Empowered God's Bane Blade from Ambrosius. Now, once you make your way outside of the Forbidden Magic Research Lab, you're going to get hit with a cutscene that's going to show Phasus as well as some of his men opening up the Flame Bear Palace spell seal door, which is actually a hint to let you know, hey, go and open this door now because you have the blade. And that's what we're going to do. However, before we move on with that and we end up having to do the boss fight, there's a couple things that you need to do before you make your way to that door. One of those is going to be to rest at an inn. There's a really good chance that you end up messing this up. And if you rest at an inn, you can always go back and, uh, and do this several times until you get it right. Now, the second thing you need to do, which I actually recommend doing before you rest at the inn, is going and changing your vocation to the archer. Now, I believe you need to be level three archer to unlock this specific skill, but there's one that you want to grab called exploding shot. There's also an upgrade to that called erupting shot. Either way, it doesn't matter. You just need to have exploding shot because we are going to use a bow to take down this giant stone monster. And once you've switched over to the archer vocation, there's gonna be two different ways that you can go about stopping this giant stone monster in time to get the achievement. If you take a look at the monster, you're gonna notice that he has these massive spikes that are sticking out the side of his body, anywhere from his head all the way down to his feet. I believe there's around 10 or so. And what you need to do is remove all of those spikes before he gets to a specific location. And you guys will see that location in the video. It's shortly after he makes landfall on the beach. There's a spot where if you do it right, he'll end up collapsing to one knee. And you guys will be able to see that as we progress through the video. And you'll see the exact spot where you need to get it done in time to get the achievement. Uh, the first way to go about this is to use explosive arrows. These are a great way to take out those spikes. Each spike is going to take anywhere from one to two, depending on your level uh, and the weapon that you're using, to be able to remove the spike. So if you're using those explosive arrows, one or two shots should do the job. Keep in mind, you're probably going to miss a few times because a lot of these positions that you'll be in, you'll be shooting from a distance, and he is moving. So there's a really good chance you're going to end up missing a few so I recommend having anywhere between 40 and 50. I think I went out there with like 50 or so, and uh, I was able to successfully get most of them. Uh, I ended up choosing the other route to complete this, uh, this quest, which is to use the unmaking arrow. Now the unmaking arrow is a really, really rare item in the game. And I personally think this is one of the best moments in the game to use it. Uh, there's only two that you can get throughout the story, one of which is going to be acquired from the Sphinx and doing one of the Sphinx's riddles in the side quest that's called A Game of Wits. The other way to get one is to purchase one from the Dragon Forge for eight Worms Life Crystals. So uh, there's two different ways to get one. If you don't have one and you still have the option to get one, I highly recommend taking the time to do that and using that here uh, because it makes things significantly easier if you're going with the route of explosive arrows you're going to have to manually take out each individual spike on that stone guy before he gets to a specific location which can be kind of stressful and you may end up having to do it a couple times if you use the unmaking arrow you only have to hit him one time and if you hit him once it automatically removes all the spikes from his body and at that point all you have to do is wait until he gets to that designated location drops down to one knee and, uh, and you'll get the achievement. But the unmaking arrow, by far the easiest way to do this, highly recommend that method. If not, you can use the explosive arrows and, uh, and try to take all of the spikes out yourself using those arrows. Um, but again, keep in mind, I just wanna make sure that you guys understand this, there is a specific location that the giant stone monster has to make it to before the achievement will pop. So if you use the unmaking arrow while he's still in the water, right? And you see all the spikes fall out of his body. He's not immediately going to drop down. You're going to have to wait until he walks all the way up on land and gets to that specific location. And once he's there, then he will collapse and you will get the achievement as well as all the XP and the rewards. But uh, you are going to have to wait if you do that. Even if you do use the explosive arrows, you're still going to have to wait if you manage to take them all out before he gets to that spot. Uh, it's just kind of a waiting game after that. But again, unmaking arrow, I think, is the easiest way to do this. Another thing that I want to point out is that all the spikes that are inside of the giant stone monster are actually wake stone shards. So if you wait until the monster makes it to the beach 
and then you start taking out all the spikes, especially if you're using the unmaking arrow where they all fall out at one time, uh, you'll be able to collect them all. So if you wait until he gets on land and all the spikes pop out at the same time, or you just take them out individually, you can actually go and collect those wakestone shards. So just something to know if you're trying to collect those. Now, once you've stopped the giant stone monster and he's collapsed to one knee, the remaining part of this quest is just going to be to make your way to the Moonglint Tower. Uh, and that's simple enough. As you make your way there, you'll get several cutscenes showing Phasus and his men making their way there, which is again at the excavation site. If you didn't already know, you'll have a giant yellow circle on your map that shows you exactly where to go for this. However, I just do want to point out and keep in mind, the game will remind you of this. That is where the end game is going to happen. So do make sure that you have the right vocation that you want on for the end game boss fight, as well as the stuff you want in your inventory and the gear that you want. Uh, because if you're like me, I wasn't really paying attention and went in there completely unprepared. So make sure that you are prepared before you do go up into the tower and the excavation site. Uh, so that you are ready for the end game. But this is how to complete the Guardian Gigantis, as well as the achievement Gigantis I Hardly Knew Ye here in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next one.